gibbons aren't the only monkeys that love these fig trees. Soon enough, this Assamese macaque joins the fruity feast. And where there's one, there's usually more not far behind. With mornings only a little above freezing, their thick fur keeps them snug. Living in a large troop has its benefits in this unforgiving forest. They spread out further while foraging and have more pairs of eyes to spot potential danger. But it also brings its own tensions. The dating season is in full swing and male macaques are constantly looking for new mates. But the romance game in the macaque world isn't straightforward, and wooing a female if you're in a hierarchy can be risky business. If you're lower down the pecking order, she probably already has her man. For some males, it pays to have allies, and they form coalitions to help with flirting so they don't get into any troubling situations. Guarded by his wingman, a mid-ranking male courts the alpha female. This could be risky if others spot him, or worse, if the alpha male catches him. Another male tries to interfere, so his teammates rally. Keeping other males in check maintains his status. But for the young macaques, it's all about playtime. The Hilltop Spa helps cool things down and even helps facilitate important bonds and relationships. With a large troop, they have plenty of playmates and watchful adults. But the forest is also home to a silent enemy. The king cobra is a predator of many habitats across Thailand and packs enough venom to potentially take on a fully grown Asian elephant. Tasting the air, he searches for prey. King cobras prefer eating other reptiles, but the macaques don't want to take that chance. They scurry off to the next tree to find more food, peace, and quiet. And further south in Thailand, there is another world that's crawling in the dark.